Welcome back for another album collection video. In this one, we're going to take a look at my Primus Sailing the Seas of Cheese album collection here. So we have two CDs. One is the more recent 2013 Deluxe Edition CD and Blu-ray. And the other is the 1991 CD uh, Mastering. Not sure when this particular CD was uh, re-released. I know it's a re-release by Interscope. This original back. So you have the song Seeds of Cheese, that's kind of like an intro, um, complete with the sound of a ship bopping up and down in the water and a uh, ship bell ringing towards the end of the song. Then you have Here Come the Bastards, um, American Life, Sergeant Baker, that's another one. Jerry was a race car driver, that's the first time I heard off this album on an mp3 cd with friends back in the day and in the video playstation video game tony hawk pro skater um you have grandma's little ditty tommy the cat that's an awesome one southern waltz those damn blue collar tweakers and you have fish on the fisherman's chronicles chapter two chapter one must be on another album because i searched and searched for it and couldn't find it but um Oh, sorry, I don't have the CD in here. Um, it's very similar to what I'm about to show. But there's the... Uh, sorry, song names on the booklet. I believe... Sorry. Here's the lyrics, and these are also in the deluxe edition. Just better... Uh, the print quality's a little bit more clear. I don't know if there's any photos in here. No, there's not. That's surprising. But yeah... So, pay attention to the claymation figures. Um, I'll talk about them in a moment. I'll show them in order to talk about this. But this is the 2013 remix of the album. The CD remix was overseen by Les Claypool, who is this guy here, for those of you who don't know. And behind the CDs, I'll show it. Hang on one second. Behind the discs you get the images of the claymation figures in black and white which is really really cool and apparently those are still around they use those elements to create visualizers for the blu-ray and uh... oops sorry for the blu-ray so same track listing you just get the blu-ray audio options here and you have, or Blu-ray audio rather, you have it in, oh, I don't know if this will show up, there you go. So you have it in 96 kilohertz, 24 bit for each one, you have it in Dolby True Stereo, I'm sorry, Dolby True HD, 5.1 surround, uh, PCM 5.1 surround and PCM Stereo. I listened to the Dolby True HD in some uh, Sennheiser headphones, my best pair that I have. And it sounded truly amazing. It's like you're there in the studio with the band as they're playing the songs. It's quite incredible. Um, really enjoyed it. And I listened to a little bit of the PCM stereo. That's more in tune with the... Uh, sounds similar to the original CD, but more sound definition. Just sounds much better than the original CD. Um, mastering, that is. So then on the, the bonus tracks on there, you get those damn blue collar tweakers live. Not sure where the performance of that's from. I'll be looking into that. American Life Live, and here come the Bastards, Bass Nectar uh, Remix. So, then you get the video visualizers, which you can use with your, and I'll show an example of it. And it's, There's a guide to it. You have to use your color buttons on your Universal Remote or PlayStation 3 or 4 Remote, whichever remote you use for your particular Blu-ray player. Now, when you first start up the disc, it does come up with one of the first visualizers with the uh, Sea of Cheese song playing along to it, which is really cool, and I thought it, it was really neat that they kept the original Claymation figures, which make up the cover of this album. And this tape does come off. I, I uh, almost took it off, but in the end decided not to. There's extra pictures in the booklet here. I'm not going to pull it out because it's just not easy to get out. But, yeah, the Blu-ray sounds fantastic. I've listened to the MP3 of the remix CD on Amazon. It is posted on... Primus's official page, 
well worth listening to. Um, I would say get the original CD if you are on a budget or you just it's just nostalgic for you. So yeah, here's the original claymation figures. Very cool, and I like that about Primus's albums. They have a lot of claymation figures in their uh, early album covers. Later on, they kind of moved they moved away from that, but they still use little toys and stuff for the covers of their albums. The little tin toy guy on a bike and stuff for Green Algahide. Um, so yeah, that is the collection. I don't plan on getting this album on vinyl. I want to add this tidbit in. There is an Analog Productions uh, pressing of the 2013 remix, um, but it's very hard to find. It's on black and yellow vinyl, and the copy that you get will be randomized. You won't be guaranteed a color copy. Unfortunately, that is very hard to get right now due to the rising uh, popularity of vinyl and the shortages on the you know components that make vinyl, the plastics and the album jackets and all that kind of stuff. Um, I opted to get that and skip this, but I paid a little bit more than uh, $30 for this, but that was well worth the admission price, in my opinion. So, yeah, Primus selling the Seas of Cheese. If they do re-release uh, any other albums in this format, I just might get it, because this sounds amazing. Well worth your hard-earned money. So that's the collection, guys. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing.